Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Okay, here's the deal. It's late Sunday afternoon. We're in downtown LA as sun is setting here right on the edge of Chinatown here on North Spring Street. Olvera Street's right over here, City Hall, and we have come downtown to have dinner at one of my favorite new restaurants, Asian Noodles. But when we got here, look what we discovered over here on this vacant lot right next to the restaurant. There are chairs set up over here as a crowd gathering, music is blaring out. We have no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but of course that's part of the downtown LA experience. So whatever it is, we're gonna do it together and it's all gonna start right over here inside Asian Noodles. We have arrived and I'm not sure where we have arrived. <laughs> we came down here to have dinner in the restaurant. Your name is? My name is Teresa Tesoro. And you work at the restaurant? Yes, I do. But what is this going on over here? Well, to celebrate um, LA Fashion Week, um, our friend from Asian Noodles, Paul Magalad, is throwing a fashion show here. A fashion show? Yeah, in the middle of Chinatown. Right here in this vacant lot? Yep. Can we come in? Yes, of course. Well, come on in. Let's see. Watch your step here, Cameron. Howdy. How are you? Well, wait a minute. You're the guy from the restaurant. Exactly. Well, we, we got here. We didn't know exactly what's happening here. We hear it's a fashion show. Yeah, we're having a fashion show, and um, the designer is one of my uh, servers. His name is... Um, um, <laughs> Your close friend. My close friend, Paul. His name is Paul. He's from Australia. He's a designer. He's having his fashion show here outside the restaurant. Well, where is he? Is he here? Uh, he's right there. Paul? Howdy! Tell us what's going on here. Um, I guess like, you know, like as per usual, you know, people are fashionably late. Um, we were supposed to start like about 5 p.m. Um, we're having a fashion show. Hi. Now, are these your fashions or what? Well, yeah, I, I, I make like one of a kind um, outfits, you know, uh, from scratch, you know, all by hand. Howdy, fellas. Oh, here are the models back here. Howdy. Oh, you all are the models. Look at this. Now, are these all of your creations? Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, yes, we're about to start soon anyway, but oh. anyway, um, these are, say hi. Hi. Hi, well, boy, you all look hi. great. Now, how do you feel wearing his design? Fabulous. Oh, <laughs> oh you're cold. You're being honest about it. Oh, look cold. at this one. Are you, a, are you a professional model? No, I'm not. What do you do I'm in a, real life? I'm a teacher, and then also I'm one of the uh, princesses from Miss LA Chinatown. Oh, great. Are you a model, too? I'm actually not, either. And um, I'm also on court for Miss LA Chinatown for 2004. Ah, well, this is beautiful, too. Thank you. But it is kind of windy and cold out here, so you probably want this show to get started, don't <laughs> Very you? Very soon. The California Apparel News. Yeah. So now, is it a big deal for uh, them to be here photographing your show? Well, yes, because um, I, I need my, you know, my collection to be uh, recorded um, just to show that I'm actually doing this, you know, every season. And yeah. So this would be the beginning, in other words, do you think some Mr. of these... Hauser, Mr. Hauser, uh, I'd like to meet Janie, she's the fashion editor of the, the magazine. Oh, you're the fashion I editor? I am. Oh, okay, so how important could this be as far as a break for for this young man? Oh, it's, is... it's very important. I lost my voice this morning. It's, um, it's very important, you know, it's great exposure to be in our paper, a lot of people see it. Um, get us pictures in there, we'll definitely be covering it. So, so it really it's, doesn't it's a really make nice... any difference that the seats aren't all filled. Because the power of the media right here. That's right. You can That's do right. a story. You can shoot it so it looks like the place was packed. And it will be packed. And the most important thing, it's you will be packed. showing his fashion. Work, yes. His which is what is you know exactly. people are going to want to see. Right. That's right. Well, nice so, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Well, yeah, we're an hour late. I uh, also, you know, be able to be here at six, about five, but regardless, right, we're anyway. Gonna, we're going to stand out here and watch the show. Thank you. Let's get one more look at the models over here. They're all getting ready. Suspense is building for the big show. Smile, ladies.
Now this is a real learning experience for me. I'm standing here with, introduce yourself. Deborah Stevenson from the Skyline Studios. Nice to meet you. you. And Eric Madison from Barney's New York. Oh, Barney's New York. Yes. Turn out oh nice. my gosh. <laughs> well, we, we, th this name on the wall, what is this? That's San Paredes. That's the name of Paul's collection. The so name of his line. has a name for his collection. Yes, it's branded under that name. See, this is so interesting to me because we were coming down here for dinner and then here's this whole it thing. Is, is this unusual or is this kind of the way it's done in LA? Well, actually, Paul's quite a renegade in the industry. He always um, shows his collection outside of the regular uh, lineup for Fashion Week and he always shows in Chinatown because he's uh, Filipino, he has raised in uh, Australia, has strong roots to Asia and the community here. So he supports the local industries and he chooses a place, very unusual place every season to host his show. Wow. Yeah. So how many of these things are going on at any one time in LA in the fashion industry? Well, starting tomorrow, Monday, there'll be about four shows every day all the way till I think Friday night. Yeah. Um, and it's really exciting. And, and all of those shows are on the regular list and they're taking place at Smashbox Studios in Culver City. But, but now, how does this tie in with Barney's? When I think of Barney's, I'm not thinking of the fashions that I saw back there. You're thinking about youth and you're thinking about up and coming. Ah, youth and up and coming. That's what this is. So what you're looking for is something in one of these dresses or one of these designs that might catch on and that's why the apparel news is here to take pictures. Yeah, they really have a great um, nose for what's emerging in talent and they have always supported Paul's show and others like him that show in an unusual setting. Well you know this is interesting because he works in the restaurant. He does and this restaurant is very supportive of his um, emerging talent. So this could, I mean I'm not trying to be trite about it, this could be I mean, this is the way d many designers start, is, yes. is like this. They rely on local businesses and people to support them and give them an arena to show their collections and you know, host them and friends to come out and DJ, and wow. that's how it all builds, and that's how Big Name is made. Okay, the show has started. Here comes our first model. Actually, we've got a pretty good crowd over here. The crowd is building everybody's sitting here watching and we have to help give us commentary introduce yourself to everybody hi my name is judy lamb and i'm a friend and, and a client of paul you're wearing one of his creations right i bought this last year after i saw it in a fashion show i thought you were one of the models <laughs> thanks well now here are the models back here is, is this exciting for you to it's see these great Everything Paul does is very original, and I love it because it makes girls look just really great and feminine and beautiful. But most people don't know his name, do they? He hasn't right. been really discovered yet. That's right, and a lot of his stuff is one of a kind, so he does not mass produce it, and it doesn't get across a large audience, but people that know him, they always come back. Now, his company, is, his label is called? San Paredes. So is this, right. a, is this one yes. of Yes. So oh, see, this right. is an original. This will be right. worth something right. someday. I, I like that nobody else has it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, here's wait a minute. Here she goes right here. I got the free entry with all the Wow. You should all see. This is so interesting. I've never been to a fashion show. This is a good one. Is it? It's a great now, one. What do you mean it's a good one? Well, the, the clothes look exciting and the girls look exciting. Oh, here's so. the red dress we this saw earlier. One. This is a great one. Wow. So it, it shows off her beauty. It shows off everything. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> would you wear you a dress it. like that? Uh, if I had her body, I sure would. <laughs> oh, look, there's the photographer from the apparel news. He's taking her picture. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Okay, here comes our here comes our next model. We're doing fashion show commentary here. What do you think of this one? This one, like most of Paul's work, it's great because it moves. So what do you as, mean it moves? As the model moves, the fabric moves, and that's one thing that seems makes his clothes look like they're alive, and the movement is really pretty. See how the skirt moves yeah. as she's walking, it moves with her. Now talking to our uh, photographer over here from the Apparel News, 
How many of these photographs, if he's lucky, will show up in the newspaper? Probably five or six. That usually, many? Yeah, usually five or six per show. So you have to shoot every one of these, and yeah. then they'll take them back and And, and then choose. the editor will pick the, the photos they like. Wow. And, what do you think about that? You see fashion cool. all the time. Yeah, this one's nice, kind of cool. Let's continue our commentary here. What is this? Looks like a black, uh, what do I know? A cocktail dress. What is it? <laughs> sort of. Yeah, I guess you could wear it out to dinner. You can wear it to a special event, like a, a wedding or a premiere. Yeah. And turn around here, Cameron, and take a look. We have a an audience over here. Look. Hello, everybody. You enjoying the show? Look. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> well, it draws a crowd. It does. Not every day you see a fashion show. Oh, here they all come. This is it. It was a quick fashion yeah. show. Now, is Paul going to come out? Don't the designers sure usually come out and I'm get sure. there? There he comes. The fashion show is over. Paul is now a waiter again. Yep. <laughs> He's back inside waiting tables. We're inside the restaurant. And Teresa, now we want to talk just a little bit about this food. Sure. First off, I thought your name was Teresa. It is. And in, <laughs> in Tagalog, this means, Ligaya means happiness. Oh, so this is a word, a Filipino word. Yes, it is. For happiness. Yes, it and is. And what was the language? What did you? Tagalog. Tagalog. Uh-huh. That's the yeah. language of the Philippines. Yes, it is. All right. Now, are we in, I've eaten here before, so I know a little bit about this, but is this a Filipino restaurant or a Chinese restaurant? Or a what restaurant? It's both. It's a Philippine fusion, and it's a combination of Chinese and Filipino food. Um, traditionally Filipino food, more so like what we would eat at home. All right, now this is some of the traditional Filipino food. I always get one of these, yeah. and these are called? Shopao. Shopao. Uh -huh. And they come, I'm going to let you hold the mic so okay. I can open this up. They come so that you peel the paper off. Right. And you open them up. Right. And they're that one filled. Is chicken. This is chicken. Uh huh. And you basically then put a little bit of this sauce on it, and that's your that's your meal. Yep, that's right. Now this is traditional Filipino food. Yes, um, the Chinese also have a version of this. They call it bao. Uh huh. But the Chinese one, there, the dough. I've I've noticed that the the Chinese dough, it's a little bit denser, and on the inside, it's made with like a um, a red kind of sauce on the inside, usually barbecue pork. But Filipinos have made their own version of it, and our dough is lighter. It's handmade and it's, every day. It's wonderful, and here's the way they look when they come out, and yeah. they're just great, and they can be filled with chicken or with beef or with pork mm -hmm. or almost anything. Yeah. Okay, then we have the traditional noodles yes. here. This this is um, called pancit, pancit bihon. It's made out of um, rice vermicelli noodles, and it has some pork and some shrimp and chicken and vegetables. And your menu has a lot of different variations of these two dishes right, right. here, noodles and right. all of that. That's right. Where you kind of veer off is that you've combined a lot of things now too, so that this yeah. is not just a traditional restaurant, this has a lot of, of different kind of things being served. Yes, um, we serve um, like fried calamari, but it's what it's not what you're used to. It's not with marinara sauce. It's served with a sweet rice wine vinegar that we make every day, and then our fried rice. We don't just have we have a Chinese version of fried rice, which has peas and carrots, and we also have a Filipino version with adobo. It has chicken and pork and garlic. Wait a minute, let's look over here. This is one of the ladies I was talking to back during the fashion show. 
What is this we're having right here? This is a shrimp chow this. fun. So there's noodles and shrimp and it's all now, fried up. Now is this Filipino or is this Chinese? What is this? It's Filipino. I think most of the food here is Filipino. Uh-huh. And yeah. what is this you're having over here? Oh, she's eating. I'm eating. <laughs> what is this they're having over here? That's a calamari salad. Oh, okay. With some balsamic and vinaigrette. And we have traditional rice. Right. And what are these right here? That's a uh, fried tofu. Fried tofu. <laughs> right. He's using chopsticks to eat his soup. What is that you're eating there? That looks like a, uh, a little wonton, a little shrimp. Now, and how did you wonton. find this place? Same way I did, just happen in? Well, my friend here works around the corner. So I'm in town visiting him, and he's working hard on a Sunday prosecuting people. Oh, you're, you're in the DA's office? I'm a U.S. attorney. Oh, wow. U.S. attorney's office. So, how did, so do a lot of people come over here for lunch during the week? A lot of people from the U.S. attorney's office come here for, for lunch. It's the closest place in Chinatown, and it's clean, and it's uh, the wait staff is really nice, the owners are really nice, the soup is great. And did you know what you were getting into when you came in the well, first time? I, I didn't, the first time, I was about to say tonight, I didn't realize that we'd have a fashion I show. Exactly. You know, and, and my friend from Miami, John, was was pretty excited. But, um, yeah, but it's very LA. Yeah. But I mean, most of the time when people walk in here, they really don't know what this restaurant is all about. Well, I think that people assume it's Chinese, and I, I guess it's like sort of Asian fusion, but it's more Filipino than anything else. So, uh, are you hooked on it? Uh, yeah, it's great. We love it. We found a table eating. This is a mango sago. And that is uh, the famous fried bananas with macaponu ice cream. Wait a minute, let me see those bananas. Well, there's not much of that left. You that doesn't really give us an idea of what you yeah, ate. You came here. You came a little late, Huel. <laughs> so are if you? If you were here regular? 30 seconds ago, you would have seen it. Are you all regulars here? <laughs> Absolutely. Ever since they've opened. Did you have? Are are you? What is your background? Are you Filipino? Or are you Chinese? Are you? We're uh. Hmm. Well, being Filipino means you could be everything. We are. We are all indeed Filipino American. Um, and uh, we happen to be Filipino Americans that are affiliated with the film industry. I got you. So th they call this fusion food. What does that mean to you? Well, it means uh, Filipino cuisine. Filipino culture is fusion culture. It's a melding of Asia, East and West. And um, it's been a crossroads of Asia for the longest time. But that's been our little secret. We were multicultural before the term was franchised. Wow. <laughs> and do you think, see, I don't think most people in Los Angeles, I don't really know a lot about the... Filipino community in Los Angeles. You need to come by. We, we're, we're the Where largest. Where do you go? Where do you go to find out? Well, there are Follow a number. Follow you around for a day? Mm. <laughs> there, are, That's a start. There, there, there are a number of sources. Uh, there, there are three good organizations. There is the Filipino American National Historical Society, um, which is comprised of scholars, and all they do is study Filipino American history. There is the Filipino American Library, which is the sole repository for Filipino American um, information in the entire United States. And there's an organization called the Association for the Advancement of Filipino American Arts and Culture, or PhilAm Arts, nonprofit organization that puts on annually the largest Filipino American um, festival in the entire nation. Now, there's one more too. I, I neglected to add an, uh, an organization called SIPA, Search to Involve Filipino Americans, and actually the board chair. For SIPA is right here. I'm gonna have to get some business cards here. Absolutely. I see a whole little mini series coming up. Absolutely. And it, and it all started with me coming over to take a look at the very last vestiges of fried banana with ice cream. I have no idea what we're looking at on your table. Explain to us what your family is eating. Well, it's called the crispy para. The what? Crispy pata. Uh huh. It's a Filipino term, and it comes from the behind of the pork. Ah, the back portion of the, the back pork. portion of the pork, and it's deep fried. Now, are there a lot of good Filipino restaurants in Los Angeles? Oh yeah, they're scattered around. Uh, this is one of the oddest ones that happens to be in Chinatown. What do you mean oddest ones? Well, Chinatown, you usually don't see a Filipino yeah. restaurant in here. And they're competing pretty uh, pretty good about it. How far uh, do you come to, to eat here? Uh, we live in the Los Angeles airport area, so that's a good... Make a pretty good drive. Now, what is drive. this we're looking at down here? Look at this that he's serving. Boy, it smells good. What is that? That's, a, that's beef steak. 
beach stay. Here it comes right here. Oh boy. Too bad we don't have smell o vision. That is great. Now here's a guy standing at the counter. You got some pickup food、uh, with you tonight.、Mm -hmm. What do you know about Filipino food? Well, I know that when I was over there, I used to love to. They have these little street barbecue vendors, and their money is called pesos. And I was getting about 18 pesos to the dollar exchange rate, and I'd go buy their barbecued like meat sticks. They always had. What were、right、you doing in the Philippines? Well, I was in the Navy. So you then you know about Filipino food? Oh yeah, I like lumpia,、uh, pancit, all that.、Uh, I didn't get a large amount of varieties because I was always getting American stuff when I was there too. Yeah. You know, when you're overseas, you kind of long for the American food, but you still give them a shot at their culture. And now you're in L.A. and you're getting Filipino food. Well, actually,、yeah. this is fusion food because it's、yeah. kind of Chinese and Filipino. That's true. I've noticed that. I didn't see the lumpia on the menu like I was telling you earlier.、Uh, it'd be nice if they had that.、You、used to get stacks of that. Really? Oh yeah. They serve you like、uh, 20 little miniature egg rolls for a couple of pesos, and they're just delicious.、Uh, you gotta love it. <laughs> well, it's a learning experience for all of us, isn't it? To learn the food and the culture of other places, of other people. We're lucky here in America because we have a large variety to choose from. I mean, on a little island, they've only got this and this and this, so they're stuck without a large variety like, well, like we have. Okay, fellas, look over here. We got the real thing now. This is the this is the full thing. Right over here. Now, what is this again? This is our fried bananas with tropical ice cream, and、oh, the green、boy. stuff on top is a special coconut cream mixture that、is、we. Is this Filipino? Yes, it is. This is this is traditional. It's the fried bananas are traditional. The ice cream is traditional. The the coconut cream is our own creation. Our manager created fusion, that. It's fusion, it's fusion, right? And now this is the one I usually get.、Yes. Now, when you look at this, explain here. Move it around a little bit in there for me, because it's got. What is that down in there? It's kind of a fruit.、Yes. Uh, There are lychee nuts, which are considered a fruit, but are actually a nut. There's red beans and white beans. Those are sweet, and then we have a little bit of coconut jelly on the inside. Shave ice. Evaporated milk and some ice cream. And this is great. I get this every time. And、yeah. this has a name. It's called Halo Halo. Halo Halo, and this is traditional Filipino. Yes, it is. And the Halo Halo in Tagalog means mix mix. So that's why when you eat this, mix it up and then you scoop it in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, this is great. I highly recommend this because not only do you get good food, but you get a A lesson in in culture and in history and in a very important part of our community here in Southern California. It's called Asian noodles. It's noodles. It's right here on North Spring Street, right in downtown LA, on the edge of Chinatown. It's fusion food all the way. And、uh, I come here a lot, and I recommend you do as well. We came here tonight to have dinner. We ended up. Seeing a fashion show and having dinner, so you never know what you're going to find down here. Right. But it's been an absolutely wonderful experience. Come on down and enjoy this. There's a lot to learn and a lot of good food down here as well. Look at this. What's this called again? Fried bananas with、uh, tropical ice cream. <laughs> Visiting with Huell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.